This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how I go about making tutorials for my YouTube channel, particularly how I go about recording my screen. And this is something I've been asked about a lot and I figured it would be really useful for me to put this information out there because I've been making videos for going on four years now and in that time I've used a lot of different screen recording applications, some good and some bad, but the one that I prefer the most is this one here which is called OBS Studio. And I'll put a link in the description to where you can get it. Just go ahead to obsproject.com. Uh, it, it's a free download. It's a lot like Inkscape and GIMP. It's open source. It's completely free. It works with Windows, Mac, and Linux. And what I really like about this application that it has is that it has all of the features you would normally have to pay for with, with some of the more um, mainstream screen recording programs that you have to pay hundreds of dollars for. Uh, it's, it's kind of unnecessary because you have everything you need here with OBS and I'm going to show you how to get it up and running. So when you first open OBS, this should be your view here. This big black box right here is a preview window for what is going to be recorded. And since we haven't added any input devices yet, uh, it's going to record nothing. So we have to go in and add that. The first thing we want to take a look at is the scenes over here on the left hand side. Um, you want to set up a separate scene for each type of video you create. Uh, so for example, if you're going to record your screen to make YouTube videos, you're going to want to set up a scene with its own settings uh, for that. And then if you want to also do like Twitch streaming, for example, you're going to want to set up a, a separate scene for like streaming videos uh, where you use different settings. Um, if you're just doing screen recordings, you'll just need one scene here. I'll show you what I have here. This is my YouTube tutorial screen. Uh, scene. It has all of the input devices and the, and, the, and the audio levels and everything like that. I'm going to show you how to set this up. This should be your default view here. I'm just going to delete that with the uh, delete button. I'm going to add a new scene in there and I'm going to call this one screen recording. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to add new sources now. Um, the sources are the input devices that you tell OBS to record. So what is it that we want to record? We want to record the screen. We want to record the, uh, the audio input to the microphone and we also want to record the audio output from the system. That would be like if you're watching a video or you're playing a game or something like that. You would want the audio from the system to be recorded from that as well. So let's go ahead and click the add icon down here and it'll show you all the different types of inputs you can add. You could add um, game capture, individual windows, uh, static graphics. Uh, to record your screen, I'm just going to choose display capture right here. Uh, I'm going to name this one 4K screen. That's the uh, resolution of the screen I'm recording here. Go ahead and click OK and there you have it there. You have the screen, um, you have that active. Uh, it's going to ask you which monitor you want to use. If you're using multiple monitors like I am, you'll have different monitors to choose from down here. Uh, I'm just recording this one here that you're looking at. Uh, capture cursor, I like to keep that turned on. I'm assuming you probably would as well. Go ahead and click OK. And now it shows you in the preview menu that it is going to record your screen. It's not recording yet. It's just showing you a preview of what it's going to capture. Now we also want to record audio as well. So I'm going to add a microphone. I'm going to click down here in this icon, add audio capture. Um, I'm going to name this one. I'm just going to name this one microphone. Click OK. And the device, you just want to choose the device that it is you're using. I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone, so we'll just choose that here. Click OK. And then you also want to uh, add your audio output, which is your system audio. I'm going to click the Add icon down here, Audio Output Capture. Um, I'll just keep that named as it is. OK. And Device. Um, you want to choose whatever it is you have active at the moment. Uh, by that I mean like, let's say for example, when I use my computer, I sometimes use the speakers, I sometimes use headphones, or I sometimes use Bluetooth headphones. It depends on what I'm doing. Whatever it is you have active as the default uh, default device at the moment is what you want to capture. Otherwise, it won't capture the audio. Let me show you what I mean here. In Windows, you can come down here to this volume icon, right-click it, and go to Sounds. And it'll show you up here, Playback. I have the speaker set as the default device. I'm not using my headphones at the moment, I'm using the speakers. So I have to make sure that I choose the speakers from this drop down here, otherwise the audio won't be recorded from my system. Go ahead and click OK. And there we have it. So now we have all of our sources set. We're set for uh, screen recording. 
One more thing I wanted to show you, and this is where OBS really shines because it lets you do these extra things here. Let's say I want to record something in addition to this menu, uh, to this screen right here. Like, let's say I want to record like um, webcam footage of myself or like a second monitor or even a different image and place it in a window in there. What you can do is you can add another input device. I'm going to add a display capture. Uh, I'll just keep that named as it is. And I'm going to choose my other monitor over here. This works with any other input device as well. I'm going to choose my other monitor over here, and it'll show you show you what I'm recording. Let me open up my uh, window there. It'll show you here on this window. That's my second monitor. And you could take these nodes up here, and you could scale that down, make it small, put it in the corner if that's what you'd like to do. So that's, that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty useful if you're going to do any kind of Twitch streaming or something like that where uh, you want to put like a video of, of – um, like a face cam video down there or something like that. So that's one thing I really like about OBS. I haven't seen any other free screen recording software that can do that. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and get, get rid of that. Uh, so that's pretty much the sources panel. That's how you get everything set up. We come over here to the uh, mixer. This is where you can control your audio volumes. Now, if you notice here on my microphone, as I talk, the green, uh, the audio levels are staying below red for the most part. If your audio levels, you're going to want to test yours out. If your audio levels are going into the red, that means your 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 volume's a little too high. And you're going to want to take this uh, slider and just bring the volume down a little bit like that. Likewise, if it's too low, you don't want your audio to be too low as well. So you might, if it's too low, you can't bring it higher. So like you might want to move closer to your microphone or something like that. And for the audio output, you're going to want to test that out as well. Um... I have this other video open up over here. I'm going to play that real quick. And you could see it's playing the music. The levels there are fine. If I bring it down, it brings the levels down so that the music isn't as loud. Or if I bring it up, right about there is good. So that's how that works. Right about there. I'll leave that as it is. And what we have over here are our uh, controls. We could start streaming or start recording. Um, before you do any of that, the first thing you want to do is come over here to uh, settings and you want to define um, where the where the uh, video file should be saved. I'm going to come over here to output and recording path and go ahead and click on browse and you can choose where you would like your uh, uh, video files to be saved once you're done recording them. You can choose your format like uh, your, your output as well. Like I like to use MP4. It's the most versatile format I've worked with. So that's what I choose by default. You can choose one of these other ones if you'd like, if you prefer them. Um, video, this is pretty important here. This is another thing I really like about OBS because they don't, I haven't really seen this sort of features in other screen recording applications. Up here, I have my, uh, my input, like my default resolution, which is the size of my monitor, which is 3840 by 2160. However, I don't want my videos to actually be that big. It's kind of unnecessary for a graphic design tutorial to be in 4K. So what I do is I tell OBS to output the video in 1920 by 1080 format, which is full HD, which is perfect. That's great for YouTube um, because I don't want the file size being too large. And the same thing with the FPS down here. This is frames per second. Uh, I have mine set to recording 30 frames per second. If you're just doing basic screen recording like I do, I recommend using 30 frames per second as well. I've used 60 in the past, and it looks great. It's like really crisp and smooth and everything. But the thing with 60 frames per, uh, 60 frames per second is that it creates an enormous file size, and it takes half the data uploaded. So I much prefer going with 30 frames per second. It still looks great, and it doesn't give you an enormous file size. So... Um, if you're recording gameplay footage or something that requires you to, 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 to look at things on a more frame-by-frame -frame basis, then yeah, go with 60 or maybe even higher. But for everything else, I would recommend 30. You come up here to general. Uh, these are your general settings. You choose your language and all that other stuff. I don't mess with any of this. I just left the defaults. Stream. This is where if you'd like to use OBS for streaming, you can put in your credentials down here. You can stream through Twitch, through YouTube. Uh, Smashcast, whatever that is, Mixer, Facebook Live, and you get the idea. I actually tested it out with Twitch, as you can see here, and it worked great. I would absolutely recommend this if you're going to do any kind of Twitch streaming. Audio. Uh, I don't know much about audio personally, but if you do, you can mess with these levels if you want. I just left the defaults there. Um, we went over video already. 
hotkeys. You can program some keyboard shortcuts in here so you could press a key on your keyboard to start and stop streaming or recording if you'd like to do that. There that is. And then down here in advanced, you get some more options as well. Uh, you could set your process priority over here. Um, uh, you could choose how the video file gets named, which by default it names it by month, day, year, all that other stuff, which is not really important, but there it is if you want to change it. And that should pretty much do it for that. Once you're finished setting all of that up, you can just hit OK or Apply. I'm just going to hit Cancel because I like my settings how they are. And once you've done that, you can hit Start Recording. And you'll know you're recording when you look down here where it says Record. It'll show you how long it's been recording for. Or if you start streaming, it'll tell you how long you've been live for. So that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. Um, if you want to get rid of this uh, taskbar down here, if you're using Windows, you could just right-click that and go to Taskbar Settings. And I like to choose Automatically Hide the Taskbar. Automatically Hide the Taskbar in Desktop Mode. And that's what I usually do when I'm re recording my tutorials because I don't like that being on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's how you can do that. So yeah, that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how I go about making my uh, tutorials here for YouTube and how you can go about recording screen footage yourself. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.